When you realize that the physical universe can be represented by patterns in the brain, it's a scary thing. When Mary Lou Jepsen showed that visual images could be represented by metabolic patterns of the brain, I realized that there's that, that medium, that the physical universe is literally being represented by this electromagnetic machine between our ears. If you understand the grammar, if you understand the alphabet of what that is doing, the possibilities are endless because what would come out of that, it would be brain-computer interface, it would be controlling robotic limbs with our minds, it would be communicating with artificial intelligence. And that is really where we're going to take off. That is where we get to the next level because not only do you increase your categorical intelligence, you increase your emotional intelligence. Categorical intelligence means getting facts, getting figures, getting things that allow you to solve your problem. But much on a deeper level, the emotional intelligence allows you to find that center within yourself, that drive, your ambition, and harnessing that so you can get to where you want to go, which benefits everybody. If everybody's motivated, if everybody's contributing, then I really think we can solve some of our world's greatest problems. I mean, things like poverty, things like global warming, things like becoming a space varying civilization. I mean, we're literally thinking about going to Mars and not too long. That might all sound science fiction, but really now is the time because things are changing and our population is expanding at the rate at which we actually need these things to happen. We have to remember that people like Henry Ford, people like Edison, people, these people are not even here anymore, right? So if you think that someone is sitting around and trying to solve these problems for you, then you really have given your power away. The idea is to take that power back and really start studying these things and rally around and create something that can really change everything. The field of psychophysics started with, you know, showing someone a stimulus and measuring their reaction time and getting a little bit of data from that, but then progressing to measuring the electrical fields of the brain, the magnetic fields of the brain, metabolic patterns by looking at glucose or oxygen consumption. Our technology has come so far. The ability to use that research in order to create better technology to understand ourselves, to contribute to the study of human perception, which is really the understanding of the human experience. The human experience has got to be the main thing we're going for here, right? The understanding of the human experience. And that we have the technology to see this, you realize that what we're doing is slowly decoding the brain. There's a grammar to the brain, there's an alphabet to the brain, there is a set of ways that each individual brain, like a thumbprint, represents the physical universe in its own manifesting signals. And with increasing technology, we can see this. We can actually measure it. 